See, I came here about 27 years ago, and, it, and I had known about Easton for years and years, and always thought it was a real degraded place, and it was the last place that I ever thought I'd end up living. Okay. And finally, by through some friends who told me about it at the time I was hunting for a property, and they said you can buy anything you want real cheap there, which turned out to be totally true. And so I came here really uh, out, uh, because I found this great building for practically nothing. And uh, they were also giving um, properties away on Walnut Street for it, plus a grant of five or six thousand dollars. It's just literally, well, I think they were selling them for a dollar, then you, then you received also a grant to rebuild them. And, and it just suddenly seemed like uh, this was a, you know, it's, a, it's an hour and ten minutes to the tunnel. You can do that without getting a ticket. It's a little above the speed limit. Mm -hmm. And it's, there's an amazing world there in New York. I lived in New York for a year before I came here. Mm -hmm. and, and it just, I also had a gallery on Madison Avenue, which was short-lived. Mm -hmm. and, and because I didn't know what I was doing. Basically, that was the problem. So, um, and all of a sudden, this seemed like an amazing location. Okay. This great historic little town that had a lot of wonderful old buildings, had a real sense of history, you know. And, and um, I, Ben Franklin walked these streets, and, and it's all amazing. That just so it became part of my life, you know, really felt, start to feel really centered here. And I worked hard then to bring artists into town. And I, uh, I would do that primarily. There were a few of us working on it in the onset. And I continued a lot of it myself. And what I would do is to study where there were properties available. And they were just kind of giveaway at those early times. I mean, it was, it was, and I, and, I would, people would come, and uh, I would, I would, if I didn't know the property, I'd find one. Mm -hmm. And the result was, I was a real estate with, with operating without commission. So, mm -hmm. but it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. My most recent conquest is uh, Carl Martinez across the street, with the old uh, uh, Taylor place, which was at one time was 1847, I think, is when it was built. And um, there's a cornerstone down there on the building. There was a church, that building. And now he's doing this incredible job restoring it. Wow. And, and uh, also wants to turn it into a restaurant. So, I mean, the fact that restaurants are coming here is because people are discovering that this is an interesting and wonderful little town. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, of course, another great asset, we have this amazing school here with a full art department and, and a full cabaret of people that, that, you know, each of them have serious concerns about. And, and love of Easton by local people is all around, you know. A lot of people love it that are here. And, and I, you're probably one of them too. Mm -hmm. So it's 